the Great Wall of China was even bigger than expected. Um, I know a lot of us had like Googled photos before and um, maybe you've seen it on TV, but when you really get there, like you experience like the magic that is the Great Wall. We spent the night at Mr. Guz the night before where we had dinner on the rooftop where we could see the Great Wall. We had fish fresh from his farm that he made for us, which was delicious. And then we all played games and had a great night and got excited for the adventure ahead. The next day, the bus dropped us off at what we thought was the wall, and then we realized that we had to climb up a bunch of different stairs to get to the actual wall. We did the hike up, and some of us were dying, but it was totally worth it once we got to the Great Wall itself. And then, I had no idea, but the Great Wall isn't flat. <laughs> There's a lot of stairs, so um, thank gosh I did Stairmaster before. <laughs> we got a nice little workout in, and it was incredible to see all the different people from around the world. It was just cool because everyone was coming together to experience that same thing that is the Great Wall. So once we got up there, we could see for miles and miles, and we saw all the different towers that we were climbing to, and the section that we were on had a bunch of different old parts and newer parts, so we got to see the difference between the refurbished and the older parts of the wall. My favorite moment um, of being at the Great Wall was when you're on top of the towers that are in between the different bases. Looking at, like as far as you can see, it just continues on. Um, and then while you're up there, there's a lot of people taking photos and someone tries to ask you to take their photo in whatever language. <laughs> but it's just this big, giant mesh of people. And um, it was nice to to talk to them, see their story, and why they decided to come to the Great Wall as well. 